Tesla universal wall connector. And here's our wall box charger with the J1772 uh, charger on the end of it. At New York State Solar Farm, this is the charger that we've been offering for the past couple years. It's been old faithful, it's been really good, um, and we haven't had many issues with this at all. Uh, it's just been a really reliable charger. But right now we're starting to offer the Tesla universal wall connector. Why are we doing that? Because it's universal, because you could actually charge a Tesla vehicle as well as a Ford Lightning or any other electric vehicle with it. How do you do that? On the side of it, uh, you actually could hit the button and you have the regular NACS adapter for Tesla. And what's really cool is right when you hit this button, this is Wi-Fi connected and the ports on both our Teslas actually open just now. So right when you hit this, the ports are already opened on the vehicles and it's ready to charge. Or if you're charging a regular electric vehicle that's not a Tesla, you put the connector back in, you hit the button right above it, and then you have the regular adapter, the J1772 adapter, to go right into any other electric vehicle to charge. So we've really liked this because before, when you had your wall box, you had to, which it wasn't a big deal at all, but what I have here, as you can see, this is my home, this is the way I have it set up, and I have the adapter right above it. So this is great for charging my Ford Lightning, but when I have to charge a Tesla, I put this on, put this on it, and then I charge the Tesla, and I plug it in here. And anyone that knows about these adapters, what happens, you have to have, know the trick, because this is the common mistake that's made. When you wanna take it off, you click it, and oh crap, the adapter's still stuck in there, and then the port won't close. So it actually gets, oh, look at this, now we're, now we're stuck, Tim. <laughs> and this is the common problem that could happen, not if you know what you're doing, but it could happen if someone's just charging their Tesla and hasn't done it before. So what you do is you pull up on the trigger, and then you pull it out, and it all comes out together. So with the universal connector, we avoid all of those problems. We're able to just take the charger out, bang, we have our NACS, or put it in, and then we have the regular charging, and we can go directly into uh, our Ford Lightning here, which is really cool. So you could switch over. If you have a home with different electric vehicles, one or the other, or if you're getting solar and you don't know what vehicle to, you're getting, but you know you're gonna get an electric vehicle, we could install this and then it doesn't matter. You're ready whenever you pick up that electric vehicle to plug it in and start, start charging. The other thing that's really cool with this charger that I can't believe how long it took me to uh, look at this charger and to actually put it to the test and start using it because it's got the ability now, if you have a Tesla Powerwall, um, you're able to see the charger. So here's my home right here. And you could see the wall connector is idle solar is producing, what the home is using. So in the ecosystem of Tesla, it adds the wall connector and you're able to see what you're pulling from the connector. So right now, let's, um, let's plug in the Cybertruck. And you can see right now the connector is showing idle. Now we'll watch it and there it is. It identified the vehicle, it's saying it's an electric vehicle. Oh, there it goes, it said Cybertruck. So now you can see it ramping up 2.8 and it should go up to around 9 kW is where it should cap off at. And that's, uh, oh, 11.4, my bad. This is a 48 amp uh, charger we have it set up with, 48 amps. Um, there it goes, settled down at 9.3. So we had that surge at 11, then it came back down to 9.3. And it's really cool. Look, it shows like the cyber truck, the whole graphics and everything of it. It just works so well all together. 
And you could see here, we were just running off grid tests. The powerhouse has returned to grid operation. Really cool. I love the way the ecosystem works on the Tesla app, but biggest difference when you have a Tesla, it shows the model that you have. If it's a Model Y, Model S, it'll show it parked in the, in the garage there. All right, so we'll disconnect this. Plug this back in. And I hope that was helpful in just a little walkthrough of the Tesla Universal Charger, um, how it works in the app. And it, let's just say you don't have uh, solar or battery, you still can connect this to, to the Tesla app and have it all your charging stats on there as well. So this was a brief overview of the Tesla Universal Wall Connector. We're really liking it so far really easy to use. We actually installed four of these at our office as well. So if you're in Modena and you need to charge up, you could stop by New York State Solar Farm and plug in for free charging at our office as well. All right, signing out.